What's up guys? It's me, Glenn here, and welcome back to Glenn Plays Games, and welcome back to some more of The Walking Dead Season 1 Revisited. This is, uh, Episode 1, still, Part 2. Um, don't know why I have to clarify that, but you can clearly read the title of the video, because, I don't know, I'm dumb. <laughs> anyway, um... I just want to clarify, I am only revisiting the Season 1 game. I am not revisiting Season 2, 3, or 4, or the Michonne one on the side. I'm not revisiting those. I can I only could I could only get my hands on the first game. So I'm not going to revisit uh, the uh, other seasons. Because the reason why I'm revisiting Season 1 is because Season 1 is my all-time favorite Walking Dead season game. It's my favorite. So I, that's the reason I'm revisiting this one. But without further ado, let's get right back into this, shall we? Continue. Hey, get up. <sighs> Hi, Kenny. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. Mm. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. A duck. Duck? Yeah. Nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? That's a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, <laughs> I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. <laughs> but he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. Mm -hmm. I want to build a fence. Yeah? <laughs> well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Yeah, go, Duck. Be gone. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay. <clears throat> Sheesh. Anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Anyway. <laughs> right, let's uh, have a looky, looky around, baby. Oh, can't do that. Be sure to check in with everyone you've met so far. Will do. What's up, Kenny? Hey there, uh, Kenny. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're mm. doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah, no, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I mm. thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Alright. Facts, I guess. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mm. mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Mm. See you. Oh, no. Nah. 
learn stuff about Kenny, which I already know pretty much almost everything about you Kenny. You have but such pretty hair. It gets lots of tingles. That's besides the point. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, check in on... Uh, oh, okay. Katja. Hey there, girls. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. Mm. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want yeah. to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. Yeah. All of those things. <laughs> those Beer. Are the things we live for, right? With those gone, what's the point? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Oh. Like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't mm. stay like this. Well... We'll all be home soon. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh, how's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. So, you good? Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. You learn Clementine as a first grader. Yeah, yup. They have chickens and... Horses and all that type of jazz. Good old duck. Oh boy, you know. Hey Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Two by four. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. Damn. Oh shit, damn. Damn indeed. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Yikes. You don't see things like that. It's not like <laughs> in the movies. Just look at that. Like oh, look. Did you have to do what? it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh, uh... I had to shoot one. I could shoot one. Maybe. If it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Mm-hmm. How about yours? How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Mike. Oh man, I hope Mike. so too. Mike. Maybe it's not too bad there. Mm. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. All right. You will. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, yes, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. All right. All right. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. <laughs> Lift with your back, boy. <laughs> Stupid. Anyway, onward to the barn where we get yelled at <laughs> for apparently not telling the truth, supposedly. Which I did, but whatever, Herschel, you old bag. 
There, Virgil. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Say, like what? I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. <laughs> it was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. Yeah. You agree with that? Yeah. Was brought up to? Yes. Yep. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. Mm-hmm. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? Yeah. I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Sure. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those yeah. same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. True. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Back. And here this goes. Go! I'll get my gun! I'ma help Duck because I help you Kenny later. Sean died. I got you. Now, Sean. Get this tractor off of me! Please, help me! Please! Why? It don't. It wouldn't matter. If I did try to help Sean, he wouldn't die anyway. So Duck just helps Kenny later on. Helps build trust with Kenny. So, yeah. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry! And you! You didn't even try to help! I thought I could help them both. Look at him. You thought wrong. And now... Please... Just go. Get out! And never come back! Okay. Bye! <laughs> See you on the flip side, Herschel. Because we don't. We never see him again. I'ma say he's dead. You've Most got likely. that ride to make it if you want it. Most likely. Herschel later on is most likely dead. But who knows? Could still be there. We just never see him again. So. I wouldn't know. Alright. Well, this is as far as we're going. Yep, it is. far enough. Yeah. Because it's family drugstore right there. Excuse me. Hey there. 
You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Nope. Gonna be. Fuck! Take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Shut up, Lily. I don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they couldn't let them right to us. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. There's a boy, too. What is it? I. I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. <laughs> Damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a... One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end Larry, this now. Larry, shut your mouth. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's Lily, a his boy. Ass. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Kick shut his up, ass. Lily. And Do you, it. shut the Do fuck it. up. <laughs> they will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. Oh. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. Uh -huh. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. Who He's said? not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. Well, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> you and what homo parade? This one. What? That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing Ooh, for killing a kid. He's covered Sorry. in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, oh. the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. <sighs> then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then there'll be three. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable mm. man eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. Yep. You wanna get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Crap. Ow. Crap. Get up. Get up. Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Oh my. You okay? Mm -hmm. Just great, thanks. Crystal. Uh, guys. <laughs> Get in. Shh. 
shot. Shut up. <laughs> is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Shut up. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. <laughs> educated guess. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye pharmacy. on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. Damn, that'd be great. Well, it's got to get done. Damn straight. Plus, I'm quick, and I know make it. Local? Born and raised. Dang. If you're gonna do that, nice. here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good Finish. eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Yes, sir. You got this, bro. What are you messing around with there? <laughs> I can't get it to uh, work, though. Me. Here. Let me have a look. Alright. <laughs> Nothing. Leave it. And batteries? Probably not. No. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. Double A's, baby. Mm. Wow. Alright. Let's look for some double A's, baby. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. <laughs> Facts. Fair Looks enough. like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. I mean, would it matter? Is that an energy bar? Okay. Find some batteries. So, energy, another energy bar. Alright. Batteries, battery, what's that? Battery! Woo! That's one. <coughs> what does that count as two? I don't know. Yeah, that's one. Neil, we just need to find another battery. Somewhere in his office. Another energy bomb. Got three. Which is cool. Alright. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. Hey, Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Yes, sir. Anyway, we, Kat and I, appreciate your support. You're welcome. Thank you, Lee. No prob. Are you guys all right? Oh, we're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. How's Duck doing? He's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? She 
Everybody's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? Yeah. That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, so we mm -hmm. ought to wait for things to clear <clears throat> up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They, uh, own this place. They're, uh, gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but, yeah, they're dead. Lee, you My got boy. a second? Sure. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. We didn't even try to save him. That blood is on our hands, you know? It happened pretty fast. I guess. But I can't stop seeing him in my head. We can't kill ourselves. Over we him. killed that boy. We could have saved him together. We did what we could. Bad things happened. We didn't make a choice that killed John. You think you do when you look back on it. But in a moment, when things are really out of control, <clears throat> you don't have any choice. Nah. I guess. That is true. Try to let it go. I mean, we can't really do much because it didn't really give us enough time to save much, so, yeah. Ice cream. We just need it's to get back to now. Fort Lauderdale. It's we'll do our now. damnedest. It's not much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. I got three, bro. We need a battery. Yeah, we got the batteries. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. Your cards? Guess we can examine that. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, is that a picture of Yeah. Damn. That's up. What's up? Bro. Got you, your batteries. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Yeah. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Oh my oh, yeah, God! Look at that thing. Are Go you ahead. stupid? Did you put in? Did you put the batteries in wrong, fam? Bro. They're in the wrong direction. You stupid. Bro, it's not rocket science. It's not hard. Volume up. Oh, I turned it down somehow. Turn it up. Turn that power on. You fixed it. Continues to spread unchecked. The cool. estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been exposed. The station is okay. In the event of a full hey there. Uh, Hi. Uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Can I get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see you. God bless you all. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is good, despite the circumstances. Yep. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. We'll sit tight. Okay. Here, Clemmy. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Right. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. 
Thanks. That's uh really sweet. Don't mention it. You're welcome. Person that tries to kill us more than once. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's true. Bang. Sheesh. Jesus. What the hell went on in here? I can't. I can't think about them in here. Mm. Sheesh. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Mm. I guess so. Grab that picture for me. Dang. Wow. He tears himself out of it. That's crazy. Find anything? It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Mm. You're Lee Everett. Oh no. You're a professor at Athens who killed oh, no. a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. Oh no. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm oh. a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Oh no. I paid attention to that trial. Bro, oh, shut up. Mother, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> shut up. Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? Sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. Yeah. Okay. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. All right. All right. Ah, oh, my dad came. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. <laughs> Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. <laughs> See, dad's just smart like that. Facts. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> How are you doing? Yeah, it's not that heavy. How about with everything outside? It's not good. No, it's not. But I mm. think it'll be okay. It's good. Okay. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? What do your parents do? My mom is a doctor and my mm. dad is an engineer. Nice. Those are good jobs. Mm -hmm. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yep. Yeah, like that. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. Uh. 
Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they like hate you? <sighs> I hope not. It's just complicated. That's all. Yeah. Why? It just is. Mm. But you love them, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, of course but you do. It's your family, gone, bro. I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I'm not a bad guy, okay? Things happen and we didn't talk much after that. My parents don't talk to me when I get in trouble. Mm. I can relate. Ow! Aww. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I hope you get. I'll find you a bandage. Don't worry, Clemmy, I see ya. A first aid kit, yo. I got you. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Yup. Take care, Clemmy. Let's have a look at that finger. No. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something. <laughs> it hurt. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Cover there. Dish up. Yes. It's not as bad as what she had to do in the second game. Whew. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. We should keep a lookout. I've got yep. my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Alright, guys. Uh, I will end this episode here. So... I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Walking Dead Season 1 Revisited. And hopefully we get off of Episode 1 uh, sometime soon and go on to Episode 2. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, click the like button, click the subscribe button down below, and click that notification bell down below to stay updated on every time I upload. And like always, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.